everyone, it's me Nova here, otherwise known as Kelsey, and welcome to a brand new episode of Hidden Angels. Oh my gosh, it's been a while and I want to apologize to you guys. I don't know why it take, took me this long to get the third episode out. It's almost eight months since we did the last episode. I think part of it was mainly because of my creative motivation to do this series. It's kind of been kind of sucky for me. And I apologize. Not only that, I have all these other projects that I want to do, aka Remnant and the House in the Woods that we need to finish this month, which hopefully we will, fingers crossed. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that college does get in the way for me when it comes to producing this kind of content, so I apologize for all the delays with um, future episodes going forward. But once I'll, I am done with college, um, I think I'll be posting content a lot more than I usually am. So yeah, anyways, um, I wanted to forewarn warn you guys that uh, the following footage that you guys are about to see, some of it is old and outdated, like some of it was filmed like six months ago. And same with the audio, some of it was old and outdated. Um, not everything is going to be up to date. Some audio might sound up to date, some audio might be from my Blue Snowball microphone that I no longer use. Um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated on that before you watch this episode because some things might be a little cringy. Um, but I also wanted to thank um, Emblor for helping me edit most of this while I was working on college work and other things. Um, seriously, thank you for all of your help. I really appreciate this, even though I had to finish it up myself. I do really appreciate all your help with everything else. Um, if you guys want to check him out, um, his link will be in the description below. Anyways, that is all that I wanted to say before this episode started. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy Hidden Angels Episode 3. Anyways, bye bye Previously on Hidden Angels. Of course. I never leave the village. But Kofark, who was that guy? Why did he want that sword so bad? Ah, that young lad. Well, let's just say he followed me for my trip to Weston Village, which was why I was trying to boot him out of my shop. I saw them, I saw them, I saw them, I saw them. The Shadow Reekers are here. Hold it, old man cook. Slow down before you cause an uprising. Seize the old man. Hey! Be nice. The man is old after all. Nova, stay back and don't interfere. What was that? The village. Todd, wait up! Well, well, well. What a turn of events. Nova, run! Nova! Brian! Ah, get off me! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Two angels of the gods! And to think my luck could get any better! Oh, how I love this! Oh! 
No, Nova, don't fight, just run! No, I'm not leaving you! Kovar, help, please! Nova, get out of here! Hey, watch it, you fool! <laughs> I'll take that. My sword! Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like someone said ice cream! No, you dingus. It sounded like someone said... Help me! Miss, are you okay? Help me, please. Where on earth did she come from? I don't know, but from the looks of things, she needs to see an infirmary, stat. Right, let's take her then. Tell me, where is it that you thieves are hiding? Do you mind, Klaus? No, actually I don't. This is the first time we had to report anything to Lord Zeros. What if I mess it up? You'll be fine. 
Now will you please sit down and be quiet before you wake up this poor girl? Hmm. I wonder where she's from. She better not be dead! I don't know how to handle dead people! I think she's waking up. Todd! Hey, don't shout. You're going to be alright. You're safe now. <laughs> Where am I? Who are you? My name is Niera Shadowmere. This is my friend and fellow partner, Klaus. I believe you came to our village looking for help. What is your name? Can you recall what happened before you found us? My, my village was attacked. <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking, what was the name of your village? Maybe we can get our lord to help. It's Casmore. Klaus, go relay the word to Lord Zeros. He'd want to hear this. I just want to go home. Hey, it's okay. But I'm sure home is not where you want to be right now. Tell me, what's your name? Nova. Nova Blake. I had a brother. His name was Todd, but he... He got taken away by this evil thing. Evil thing? Do you know if it was a person or an entity of some sort? Did it have a name? Shadow Reaker. I'm here. Did you tell Lord Zeros? Niera, Klaus, what seems to be the problem? Someone came to our aid last night. She's from Casmore, apparently. And apparently there had been another attack with fire. I see. Please, move aside, Niera. I'd like to speak to her. Hello there. You must be the girl from Casimore. Tell me, what happened with Casimore? We were attacked. The demons were everywhere. And there was this thing that just stood there watching everything. They took my brother. What is your brother's name? Todd Blake. Wait, the son of Fabian Blake? Klaus, come with me. You and some of the other guards are coming with me on a trip to Casimor. We shall check to see if there are any survivors. Wait, that's not all that happened. On my way out of the village, a thief stole my sword that my brother gave to me. It was special to me. I followed the thief to this village. Very well then. Niera, you stay with this young lady at all costs. Relay the message to the other guards on duty and ask for details on the thieves. Klaus, let's go.
Well, I think you're stuck with me. Get some rest. I will be back to check on you in a bit. Please be okay. Well, looks like you're up and ready to get out of here. Would you care for a tour of Kaistead? Well, here we are, Kaistead. Bet it feels great to be outside. Yeah, last night felt like forever. Why don't we head towards town? There's plenty of interesting things you can find there. Perhaps your sword as well. Nova! Is everything okay? Uh, I'll be back! Wait! Nova, come back! Thank you. 
so it's true. Shadow Raker has struck again, hasn't he? Split up. Let's look and see if we can find any survivors. If there are any, we'll aid them at Keystead and keep them as prisoners. 